Uh, first off here, we have some pawn shop, uh, some just word from word of mouth, some offer ups, some uh, yard sale, and some trades and uh, GameStop. So uh, right at the bat, I'm going to start from this corner here with the console. So um, I actually uh, went into this pawn shop uh, near my work. And they happen to have like a kind of like a little sale, um, not sale, but just getting rid of all their old, old stuff like PS3, X, uh, fat console, the old Xbox 360. And I saw these three Nintendo console, the N64, and then also the GameCube. And it was very dirty. Trust me, it does not look clean like this. I had to clean it uh, pretty, pretty well. It was very dirty. I actually opened it. Uh, clean the inside and actually test all four of them uh, five actually three four five and They all work perfectly and I only pay uh, four bucks each so four 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 so four bucks each Four dollar for a con working Nintendo console four dollar for a working console uh, GameCube and an N64 so good find there uh, next um, you guys just saw the video where I picked up this uh, basically dirty, nasty box of just random video games. So the guy got my number from a friend or whatever, wherever it is, because I've been every every yard I go to, every garage I go to, I drop my email, my phone number, and let him know that I'm always buying uh, Nintendo stuff, video games, old video games. So this guy hit me up. He said he has a box of old video games and. Uh, he uh, he said he said yeah you want to come look at it I was like 15 minutes away so I went and take a look at it and right off the bat uh, it was very dirty it does not look nice like that for this system right not for this and television too it did it did not look nice like that it was very dirty very messy I thought all the cords wasn't there uh, the game console was messy the only two thing that I really like in that whole boss was uh, this and this right here and I'll show you guys why. Um, but right off the bat, I'm going to go here. We have in television 2. Actually, it comes complete. I thought it was not. That's why I told him, eh, you know, it, it's not complete. So I use that as my bargaining, uh, you know, technique. But it does come with the control and everything. Uh, I'm not sure what this is right here. It says, um, let's see here, uh, in tele voice, voice synthesis module. So if you guys know what this is, let me know. But it's actually connect to the side here, uh, which is also the part where you connect the game. So he didn't have any games, but he did have that. The cords for it, uh, the little pad thingy, the two controller. Um, these are actually broken, so I might have to find new ones, but it looks like it's broken. But that right there, the full uh, Television 2 set, good deal right there. Actually, it came with a manual too, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, and then got some miscellaneous stuff. It got this right here, this little Kenner Electronics. I don't know much about it. It's missing the uh, basically the battery cover on the back. So I'm not sure if it even works uh, or even if it's worth anything. Because, uh, yeah, if you guys know, let me know. He got a little miscellaneous uh, airplane, you know, army airplane stuff. Um, which is pretty cool actually the detail on this is pretty crazy so I'm guessing like this is one of those model that maybe people collects I don't know but the detail on this is, uh, is phenomenal for this little tiny thing so yeah all right uh, next we have these two uh, PlayStation 2 games actually pretty good game we have Kingsfield the ancient city I actually have the the long box PS1 uh, I do not have the two, so this is pretty cool. This one right here is actually, you know, worth around 30 bucks. And it's actually uh, complete and everything. So let me show you guys real quick. But yeah, complete. The disc is in good shape. Yeah, so that's pretty good. 30 bucks game right there. Oh, and I forgot to tell you at the lot. Um, uh, I think I did, maybe. Um, but uh, I'll tell you again, this lot right here that I just got here, this whole thing here, I got for $14. So fourteen dollars, pretty awesome. Because considering that, that's thirty bucks already. And then we have Dark Cloud. The only unfortunate thing is that it has no manual. So yeah, that sucks, but it's okay. It's a pretty good game. Um, I already have a copy of that already. And then 
this right here, when I saw this, I, I had to put on a poker face the whole time because I was just acting like, you know, none of these are good or, you know, just so then the guy won't try to, you know, uh, raise the price on me. But this is a $50 game right here, this Dragon Crest uh, 7. I actually never play this one. I actually play the 8 one and my wife loved the 8 one. She, she probably beat it like three times. I beat it once. Uh, but I never played the 7 before. It looks pretty awesome. So, you know, the only thing missing is the manual. But other than that, this is actually a $50 game and I can't wait to play them. Alright, next. Um, these right here. They were all in this case right here. This Game Boy Advance case when I opened it. Um, when I first opened that, I saw this right here. And this is the reason why I, I was really interested in this uh, uh, box of his. Is this right here. I've been looking for one of these Neo Geo Pocket forever. Uh, this one is actually in very nice condition. I'm very surprised. Nice condition. No missing battery cover. I, I uh, actually put in the battery. And test it out and it works perfectly I've been looking for this in the all my time searching in the wilds for uh, video games this is like I don't know the first time I ran into it in five years so that's pretty awesome it's super nice condition too so very happy this right here goes around 50 uh, or so um, but I this is be the first to add to my collection I'm very excited and um, and to add to it it actually came with Metal, um, Metal Slug Burst Mission, also a very rare, expensive game. Uh, it's around 15, not too bad, but it was on the back, so that's pretty cool. And it has, um, for the Game Boy Advance, has some game here. It's actually, uh, I'm very surprised too that this right here is actually in very good condition also. Um, as you can see, no scratch, no ding, very good condition. And sorry about you guys. Uh, if you guys haven't noticed all my videos, uh, I, my boy, he would just he he just won't leave. He just like to be in the video. So you see his hand jumping around, or he's trying to mess around, and you hear him um, you hear me stuttering, or uh, actually pause a little bit, or shake the phone. That's because he's messing around, and I'm trying to get him to stop. So uh, I apologize through all the videos since the beginning. If you see me pause or uh, or um, you know, or just, just do some weird stuff. It's from my son. I'm trying to get him to stop what he's doing. So yeah, but uh, very good shape, awesome condition. I'm actually switched this for the one I have right now because the condition is super good, and it came with a lot of good games. Not a lot, but a few good games. We have Yu-Gi-Oh, we have um, High Heat, we have Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 with the manual. It has a Golden Sun manual, which is pretty awesome. This is a very good game. Just good. To, uh, too bad there's no game, but I'm okay with the manual. And then lastly, I've been running to a lot of Pokemon Silver version. This is like three or four, four of them that I've been running to the last week or so. Every week I've been running one of these, but hey, I'm not complaining. But yeah, that's pretty much it for that lot. I'm going to zoom back real quick, but as you can see, that right there... That was $14. Can you guys believe it? 14 bucks. So, very happy. And uh, one thing that I want to tell you guys is that always be uh, letting people know that you're buying Nintendo. Spread the words. You know, tell everybody. And then uh, this is what happened. Because then um, you have an advantage, uh, you know, of, 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 of buying things cheaper than, let's say, if they were to post on eBay or, or Craigslist or OfferUp or Yard Sale because then people be bidding. So uh, by you doing this, you have first dip and you can make the offer at a low, low price. So very happy. All right, next. Uh, Rare, Re Rare Replay just came out, uh, I believe, two days ago. So I've uh, been looking forward to this. If you guys haven't, uh, I suggest you go out and buy them because it has some very, very nice game. Um, like, uh, you know, like for the, the Conquer Bad Fur Day, that's a pretty good one. Uh, this two right here is actually from an offer up. Uh, the guy won 25 each. I thought, it was that, I thought that was a great deal anyway, so I didn't even offer a lower price. I, once I saw he post it, I went ahead and just buy it now. I told him I'll, met him I'll meet him up in the morning, which I did. I actually met up with his girlfriend because he was not able to meet. But I, uh... 
met up with his girlfriend, bought both of them for uh, fifty dollars, which is a, a quite a bit. But I thought that each of the game worth around you know forty or fifty bucks on eBay already with uh, with this kind of condition. So right at the bat here, as you can see the box, really nice condition, no crease, no dent, no uh, squishing or anything like that. Uh, very good condition. Same thing here. There's the game. The only thing that is not in good condition is this manual. But it's okay. I can get another one. But for the box, it's a box in really nice condition. That's pretty good for $25. And then next we have uh, Earthworm Gym 2. Also, very nice condition box. Uh, the only thing that's missing is actually it does not have the manual. And then the, the basically this insert that's uh, holding the game is not the original. So, but it's okay. I mean, uh, twenty-five dollars for the game is pretty good because uh, loose has already go for twenty-five. So by getting uh, the game, the insert, and the the box for twenty-five, that's pretty good. So basically, I'm paying for loose price. Uh, pretty awesome. And if you guys haven't played um, Earthworm Gym, it's pretty cool. When I remember when I was a kid, I saw this uh, game. Uh, it was one of the weirdest games to me because it was like, I was like, what? A worm running around shooting people, uh, shooting things? And I was like, ah, that's so weird. But I actually uh, uh, bought it, tried it out, and it was actually pretty good. So if you guys haven't tried, try this out. Uh, and now I have it in my collection. This is pretty awesome. All right, lastly, these three games right here came from a yard sale. Um, I went to this yard sale, it's about 30 minutes away. I actually emailed before I left, I asked if she had any games, she said yes, he does. So I went there, uh, she said that most of the games were already picked out and people already bought it. You know, surprise, no surprise there. But I did manage to find some good stuff, like this uh, Warrior Wear Smooth Moves. They, uh, I think they, they wanted $7, I ended up bargaining for only $2. Uh, and then they have this post tells of Zillia this music soundtrack this is pretty cool because I have the box and everything but uh, I didn't have the CD uh, for one of the one that I'm trying to complete uh, but yeah she, she wanted two dollars I said one and then uh, command and conquer so for some reason I'm always a sucker for this game and it, and the reason why is that I grew up uh, playing this is my first uh, PC game that I played and I was so hooked into it I was addicted I played day and night uh, in my com in my dad's computer sometime I would be messing with his computer and mess things up but this game has a lot of great memories for me playing uh, by myself playing with one of my buddies spending the night over playing so I'm a sucker for this game uh, I, I bought it for the PlayStation the I, I believe the Sega uh, Sega CD and the PCs, man, I bought every single Command & Conquer there is, and I can't let it go. Even though I already have this, I keep buying it because it's just a lot of great memories. And if you guys haven't played this, this is one of the first um, really good, uh, you know, strategy game, army kind of thing, strategy uh, game. So I recommend it. All right, lastly here. So I went to uh, GameStop and trying to buy this rare replay and then on the back counter I saw this I saw this box here the, the basically the Pokemon Soul Silver and I asked them hey um, can I see that game there and they said yeah you know someone just traded in I and then I asked them well is it possible for me to buy this box from you and then the guy um, he was I think he was a new employee so he wasn't he didn't know what he's doing but he was about to just give it to me uh, and then um, his uh, this other girl, I think she's a manager. She came out, and sees, and then and then he asked her, "Hey, can I give this to him, or sell it to him?" And she's like, "No, we're not supposed to do that. Uh, but I can give you this box and this insert." And then she took out the little uh, polka walker and the manual, and she threw that away. And I asked her, "Well, can I can I can I get those also? Can I buy from you?" She said, "No, it's against policy." Uh, we can't give any th any of those away, but I'm but I'm okay giving you the box and the insert. And I asked her why you're just gonna throw it away anyway. Uh, she said to me, "Well, you know, it's a liability." I asked her, "What kind of liability are you doing by giving me the pocket and the manual?" And she 
CSA, well, you know, it's liability. It's a company policy. I can't do that. So, yeah, so I just like, whatever. All right, that's fine. You, you're already giving me the box and the stuff for free, so uh, I can't complain there. But still, I, I, I just hate GameStop and what they do. They could have just give that for free or just sell it to me. I'm willing to do that. But they end up rather just throwing it away. Otherwise, I would have a complete, uh, you know, the box, the, the manual, and the Poker Walker, and I complete one of the, you know, my, my Soul Silver, which I already have, but, you know, it's good to complete another one. So, unfortunate, but it's okay. It's free. I'm not going to complain. Uh, but, yeah. All right. All right, guys. The, the moment that you guys have been waiting for, uh, this right here is actually Earthbound. So, yes, I do not have a copy of Earthbound. This is my first uh, copy. Oh, because I was never able to find it in the wild, um, you know. But uh, one day I saw this guy here. I, I uh, on offer up. I traded him a few times in the past. Uh, he had a copy of this, and I saw on his posting that he is uh, willing to trade for uh, you know for like Mario and Zelda games and stuff like that. So I hit him up. I said, Hey, I have some Mario and Zelda game, uh, and then. He saw my page and he's like, well, I, I saw you have some Super Nintendo too. I'm willing to trade the Super Nintendo for uh, this game right here. So we met up uh, at a Starbucks. Uh, we we end up trading, um, let's see here. Uh, um, this, he, he traded me this for, I believe, four Super Nintendo with the cables and everything. So four Super Nintendo for Earthbound. So to me, that was a good deal because, you know, the Super Nintendo, I got it for pretty cheap. Um, you know, I got it probably like five, ten bucks. So to me, I probably spent like maybe around, I don't know, I want to say like 25, 30 bucks, those Super Nintendo. But in turn, I trade it for Earthbound, which is worth 180 or so. So not bad, you know, getting those cheap, uh, video games and trading it for Earthbound, which is pretty awesome because I, I do not know uh, that I'll ever run into one of these in the wild. So pretty awesome, guys. I finally had, got a copy of my Earthbound. I can't wait to play it uh, because this is not just ex an expensive game. It's also a good game. All right, guys. That's pretty much it for this week. Very awesome week. Um, got a lot, of, a lot of good stuff, some rare stuff, some stuff to add to my collection. Uh, but if you guys uh, let me know what you guys think, comment, likes, and thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace out.